What's going on guys, Ezra here, welcome to Whip of This. We are finally back. It's not a new series, but we finally got to do some videos. I know the quarantine's been going on and everything, but I got with me Destiny again today, and uh, she's gonna be smelling The Spice Bomb by Victor and Roll for the first time. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hear them talking, talking, talking about us. Okay guys, so if you don't know how this series works, basically she's gonna be smelling the fragrance before. I'm not gonna say anything about this fragrance because I don't want it to change her opinion. We're gonna smell the dry down after I talk about the fragrance and what I think of it. But as you can see here, this is the bottle. I love it. Uh, it is shaped like a grenade. Uh, what do you think of the bottle? I mean, the bottle looks cool, of mm -hmm. course, yeah. And uh, you even can pull, you can do like the pull tab, you can just take it off like that. And uh, we'll go ahead and spray it now. I got a test strip here, and here we go. <laughs> like an earthy smell okay. still. I don't know. Would you rate it on a scale of one to five or five being the highest? Give it a four. A four? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this is Spice Bomb. Like I said before, this is an Eau de Toilette. It was originally released in uh, 2012. Uh, they have been reformulated. This has been reformulated a couple of years now. Uh, I will say it doesn't last as long as the original one. My dad has the original one. Uh, he got it when it was like first released. But the top notes in this are going to be, you have bergamot, you have grapefruit in the top note, and that's what she's, that's why she smells like the fruit smells so well. For the heart notes, you also have a pink pepper, which is a different note. You don't usually see pink pepper in like a fragrance like this. And then you also have for the base note, you have leather, tobacco, and uh, vetiver. And vetiver is in a lot of these uh, men's colognes as always using the base note. In terms of pricing, uh, this can vary depending on the time of the year. Usually in like the fall, it does tend to go up. It spikes up a little bit because of the holidays. Uh, they do have a gift set for this, usually at Macy's, like always. If you get it from FragranceNet, you can usually get it for about $50 to $55. Um, it can go all the way up to about $80, $85 usually though. In terms of longevity, like I said, the newer version, this one only lasts me about five to six hours, and then I usually have to spray another one on. Uh, I usually go with about probably three to four sprays on this, usually like the neck. Uh, the wrist and like I'll spray my shirt just so it stays in the shirt. If you're wearing a cotton shirt, it does tend to stay a little bit longer, but if you're wearing one of those like dry fit shirts, it won't last as long uh, just because of the material. Now they do have other versions of this. They have Spice Bomb Extreme and they did come out with a one like a night version of this. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it just released not too long ago, but we're going to go ahead and smell the dry down now. Would you rate it on a scale of one to five after the dry down? Oh, uh, still give it a four. Yeah. Four? Okay. That's good. Like I said, I give this probably a four myself. I think it's a solid fragrance. It smells really good. When you walk in the room, a lady's definitely going to know that you're wearing something. And uh, I really like the smell of it. There's definitely, I like the fruity notes in this one. And you can definitely smell the peppers at times. Sometimes it even makes you sneeze, depending on if your allergies or whatnot. But that's all for today's video. I hope you all did enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this. Remember to subscribe and enable post notifications to stay up to date with everything that's happening on the channel. Thank you, Destin, for being on. And until next time, you guys, peace out. so chill <laughs> and then for the heart notes you also have oh man how do you pronounce that elemi 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 <laughs> i'm sure you chewing gum yeah <laughs> what in a video why not <laughs> is that allowed yeah it's allowed <laughs> it's not gonna mess it up that much okay um I really like that one. Mm -hmm.